Okay, so uh, we're going to continue. Now we have here in chapter 4. So if you have your book, then you can check your book for chapter 4. And that is about probability. Now, probability is just continuation or part of the principle of counting. Because in probability, we still do the counting. Na? We have there the experimentation, and we have there the outcomes, and we have there the events still we have for probability. Okay? So we have here the first part, the introduction to probability. We have here first the experiment. We have the outcome, the sample space, and the event. So these are just similar to what we learn in principle of counting. So this is like the application, the application of the principle of counting, the probability. Na? So first we have the experiment. What is the experiment? An experiment is an activity under consideration, such as tossing a coin, picking up cards, like sitting around the table. Those are experiments. Na? Those are experiments. So the things that we're going to do or the action that we're going to do are experiments. Na? And also here, the next for experiment, if we have the experiment, then the outcome or the result. This is the result of our experiments. In every experiment, you have always have the result or we call it outcome. Na? We have there the outcome. So the result of the experiment, we call it the outcome. Okay, so similar that we have before, that if we have a tossing of coin, you have the head and head and the tail as the outcome. Shai mai, we have the head and the tail. Or if you are, if you like to roll a die, then you have six, six ways, six result that will be outcome. That is one, two, three, four, five, six. Na? So the outcome are the result of your experiment. Whatever is your experiment and you have the result and that is the outcome. You will just count how many is the outcome, okay? Or what is the outcome? Now here, this is the sample space. Now the sample space is the collection, okay? What are those outcome? So for sample space, you write down or you list down all outcome. What are the outcome from the experiment? And that is the sample space. We write here in sample space all outcomes from the result of an experiment. We write the group or the set of the sample space as the capital letter S. As you can see in the slide, we have the capital S as we denote as the name for the set of sample space or the set of the outcome. And you see this, we have embraced that with a brace. We enclose that with a brace because that is a set, a group of elements, okay? Or the group of outcome. And the last one we have here, the event. The event is the set of outcomes of an experiment satisfying a given condition. So for the event, we choose what would be our outcome, okay? Because we have plenty of outcome. So what would be our outcome? What would be the event that we are looking for? What would be the outcome that, we're, what, that we are looking for? Chamai, is it the red? Is it the blue? Is it the head? Or, or is it the tail? Or is it the, the, the prime numbers? Is it the even numbers? Now those are the event. Na? So we just only calculate. Or what is the percentage that the event will occur? in that uh, experiment, okay? So for the event, we just only list down the result which that would satisfy, okay, the condition. So if, if you like this one, then you count only that one. If you like the red, then you like you count only the red. Na? So that is the event. Those are the very important thing that we need to know for probability. We need to know what is the experiment, we need to know what is the result of that experiment or the outcome. And we need to list down. We need to write down the sample space of the result. 
And the last one, what we are looking for or what event that we are looking for. What event that we want to know how much is it occur in that experiment. Na? Did you understand, Mai? It's clear, Mai? Yeah. Dinga. So, open your example. Example. Can you see, Mai? My PowerPoint? Yes. When yes. tossing up a coin. Yes. So, tossing up a coin is an experiment. So, that is one example of experiment. Tossing a coin is an experiment. And what are the outcome? The outcome, we have the head and the tail. That is the outcome. We have two results. It can be a head or it can be a tail. Na? Now, for the, for, the, uh, na? for the sample space, you will write this in a set, in a set form. Na? So you will write the S is equal to the brace, wong lip, then head and tail, wong lip, pit. pit. Na? And the event, if, what, what do you want? You want the head or you like the tail? That is for the event. Or throwing a die. Throwing a die is also an experiment. Na? That is also an experiment. So in throwing a die, there are six outcome. Six possible outcome. Six result. Na? And that is the one, two, three, four, five, six numbers. These are the, 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 the six results. If you are doing an experiment, which is throwing a die, na? there are six outcomes that you will have. So the, the event will depend upon, what is your question? If the event will say, uh, how many is the event, which is even number? So the even number, we have three even numbers, sir, my? Or the event is the odd number. How many odd number? Three. Or... Uh, the the prime numbers, the event is a prime numbers. How many prime numbers do we have in uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6? We have 2, we have 3, we have 5, or 3, 3 numbers. Chiamai? So those are examples of the experiment, the outcome, the sample space, and the event. Na? We have one more example. Picking a ball. Na? So in picking a ball, if we have there... Three red balls and two blue balls. Chamai. So you have uh, three and two. You have five. Chamai. So you have there the note. Yes, who's that? You have a question, Mai? No. Ah. So you have there for a red ball, you have three red balls R1, R2, R3. And for blue balls, we have B1 and B2. So you have five uh, results. If you want to pick one ball in a bag, having three balls and two balls, you have five different ways that you can choose. Shemai, you have the red ball, the second red ball, the third red ball, or the first blue ball, or the second blue ball. Na? And we have here picking a fruit, the same. So uh, for, for this one, if you want to show the solution, you will denote each of the of the uh, experiment, just like this one, uh, the mangoes. How many mangoes? Two mangoes. You have the first mango and the second mango. So you have you will write M1 for the first mango and M2 for the second mango, and A1, A2, A3, A4, A5 for the three apple, uh, five apples, and three bananas for B1, B2, B3. Na? So those are the outcome or the result. Now, if you will write them in sample space, then just write there, big letter S is equal to the wonglet set of M1, M2, A1, A2, A3, up to B3, then wonglet pit. So in a set form, you will write the sample space in a set form. Na? Just like it one, event. So we have there, you see, these are the experiment. Tossing a coin is an experiment. Na? We have the sample space. The sample space are the head and the tail only. Na? How many? How many uh, data? How many elements in the sample space? There are two. So we write there N. So if you still remember about set, N pewa alay. N S pewa alay. Who can tell me the answer? 
Na? Who can tell me the answer? Tanat. 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 Yes, he's here. Ah. N pewalay. N S. Number. Yeah. Number. Okay. Yeah. yeah. The other name. The other name. The other name. We have name for that. How do we call that one? We have another name for that. We have another name. Tell me one name. That is cardinality. Na? So if I will ask you what is the cardinality of the sample space, then I'm, uh, I am looking for this. Na? NS. Na? NS. Cardinality of sample space. Pewa. How many how many member in the sample space? Na? So if uh, the sample space there are five, then the cardinality of the sample space is equal to five. Na? So if I ask you about cardinality, cardinality of this set or the cardinality of uh, the sample space, then just give how many elements contain in the sample space. So you have there the, the throwing of die, we have picking up balls, Chamai. So this is how you can write the sample space in a set form. Question. This one, this one, look at this. Can you see my tree diagram? Okay, so if you can see the tree diagram, so this is a experiment. Experiment of throwing a, a coin and a fair die. So you have here the coin, head and tail, and the die, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And these are the outcome. Outcome of the experiment. We have H1, H2, H3, H4. Then we have T1, T2, T3. So all of these are outcome. So if you're going to write in sample space, it will be look like. Can you see the sample space, my? Sample space is equal to wong lip. H1, H2, H3, H4, H5, H6. T1, T2, T3, T4, T5, T6, then won't let it. Na? So that's how you can write the sample space.